Today I'm going to be showing you how to update your Zune or Zune HD firmware without the Microsoft servers. So the first thing you'll notice if you plug in your Zune, plug in mine real quick, you get this update error. And it's going to say update error code C00D133C or something similar. And that's because the Microsoft servers that hosted these files no longer exist. So, what you want to do is you're going to want to download this file, and I'll put a link in the description, zunefirmware.zip, and you just want to extract it. I've already extracted it, but I'm going to do it again just to be sure. Just give it a min minute to extract. And then you want to go in here, and you'll see part 1, 2, and 3. The first thing you're going to want to do is if you have Skype running, you're going to want to go in here and close that because it interferes with the software we'll be using. So just hit quit, quit. And close that. You can turn it back on when we're done. Go into part one Abyss web server and just want to install this file right here, part one.exe. And then I'm already got it installed, but I'll install it again just to be sure. It'll only take a minute. We just want to start it. And you'll see this icon in the bottom right that's going to alert you that it started. And what you want to do is you're going to want to open a web browser and type in 127.0.0.1. I'll just hit refresh. And if you see a page like this, then it is working. And if you don't, check and make sure that there's another program that's interfering with port 80. If there is, close it. If you don't know, then just restart your computer and Abyss should take over when you restart your computer. So, now that that's working, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to... Uh, this folder here and go to part two and what you want to see is so the first thing we'll do is open this file here and well actually it's empty I forgot to add that so we can just delete that but the first thing you want to do is take all these files here control A control C to copy them and then here's the place we want to go C abyss web server HT docs and I'll say that again C abyss web server HT docs. That'll be the same on all the computers. I just want to paste Control V all those files you just copied. So it should look exactly like this. Then you want to go back and hit refresh. And if you see this, then it's working. So 127.0.0.1, hit refresh. And if you see these files, then you're set. Now the last step we're going to do, this one's a little bit tricky. So make sure you're following me. I'm going to go back to the files I had before. Part 3, host file. So here's what we're going to do. We want to go to this location. Percent system root percent system 32 drivers etc and I'll actually just copy this here and go to this place This will be the same on every computer and you'll see this file named hosts So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and copy this host file that's in this folder the one that I sent you and want to paste it where the host file is on your computer system 32 drivers etc and you're going to hit replace the file in the destination continue and once it's pasted, you can double click on it and uh, open it in Notepad. And if you see this line, 127.0.0.1 resources.zoom.net, then you know the host file is copied correctly. So now that that's done, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to close the Zoom software and um, open up CCleaner. If you don't have it, you can download it. It's not necessary, but I like to be sure. Just run CCleaner to clear up any cache that was open in the uh, Zoom application that might interfere with uh, this software so we just want to run this real quick don't worry it's not going to screw anything up Let's take a little bit okay now that that's done we're going to open up our zoom application again and as you can see we have all our stuff here I'm just going to require an update I'm going to hit accept and it's going to download the files and copy to the device now if you didn't get something like this check and make sure that the server is up and running by typing 127.0.0.1 in your web browser make sure all those files are there make sure there's nothing interfering with it and you can always try restarting your computer to make sure the host file takes effect and uh, thank you for watching and comment if you have trouble